I came from a family where smoking pot was sociably acceptable. Um, I grew up around it with my grandma smoking, mom and dad smoking, aunties smoking. Um, so I kind of knew that I was gonna grow up to smoke pot myself. So I started smoking pot when I was nine. I remember vividly, um, there was a time in my life, I was probably 19 years old, and I remember being in this drug house, and I remember having my son with me, and I remember um, sitting on the bed and probably just taking a hit and thinking, God, if I could live my life like this for the rest of my life, I would, I would be happy. And um, that night we got raided, and the police actually let my mom drive to the house I was at and pick up my son. And they let my mom leave with my son. And then that began my journey of going in and out of jail because of my addiction. Um, because my mom was able to pick up my son, I'd like to say that my son actually stayed with me and I was able to raise him, but that's not, this, that's not the case. Um, my mom ended up taking my son to his dad's for Christmas and my son never came back home. And I knew at that time that there was something inside of me that really wanted to stop. I just didn't know how to do that on my own. You know, I was fighting for my kids. I was fighting for my family to come back. But my addiction was taking all of that from me. So I know from past experiences, I couldn't keep using and try to keep all of these things in my life. So I knew coming to the friendship house, I knew that when I, when and when I got here, this would really be the end of my disease. So when I came to the Friendship House, this was actually my seventh program. And prior to my coming here, I was checking out their website and I found papers of what their mission was about and how they ran their treatment program. And so I was actually really excited about coming here because I had already felt it in my blood that I was gonna be doing something different. Being in and out of programs, I kind of thought I knew it all already. And so um, after 60 days of being here, I was told by a staff member, Angela, why don't you stop working the program and start working the program? And that was a light bulb for me because I was. I came in and out of so many programs that I knew how to work the program. I knew how to get around staff. I knew how to manipulate. I knew how to skate through. And so when that staff member told me, you know, why don't you stop working the program and start working the program, is actually when I started to put my feet to the ground and actually start working on myself. After having my baby and being here and, and parenting a two-year-old and, and a one-year-old, I really learned what it was to be a mom and to bond with my children. Staff was very supportive. Um, they were there for me when I needed help. Um, and again, it was, um, it was just a, it was a new experience. Um, those things that I learned in those first couple of months of bonding with my children are actually things that I still, I still use to interact with my kids today. My relationship with my two youngest are very different than my other four kids for that reason. And so being here, um, I started to be exposed to other Native Americans. I remember coming in for lunch one day and there's this table of Navajos sitting together and they started to talk their language. And my ear went. And I slowly worked my way over to the table Nobody knew me, I was still new. And I just sat at their table and they're all looking at me, like, what is she doing here? I said, no, no, never mind me, just keep talking. And I could feel it in my blood again. Me being with other Native Americans, like this is totally where I needed to be. Uh -huh.